Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I am your expert assassin, Lord Fenton. In this playthrough, I will try not to spoil the game as much as possible, unless everybody knows it really, and or if it's really early. On to messing with uh, history. This is another game of the Assassin's Creed uh, series. Uh, last one was excellent. I really love it. It's in my uh, top three um, origins. Now let's see um, what kind of where at in Greek history we're going to mess with this time. And it looks like it's 300, so I'm going to let this go on. Tell me, Vinakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. I think we're gonna get in the 300. This is gonna be awesome. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand. Right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Looks like we're now going to go in our uh, com first combat of the game, and it looks like we're going to replay the entire sequence from 300 where uh, Leonidas and his uh, men really seriously kick some uh, butt. Well, this is going to be the uh, Assassin's Creed version of it. I cannot wait to try all this out. Oh man, this is going to be great. It's like three times I uh, played as a Spartan. First time was God of War series, uh, Kratos. Second time, Titan's Quest. Well, I'm counting that as a Spartan because I built my character like that. At the time I was playing for a little bit. And now this game is like, oh man, full circle from here and all. Yeah, these versions are not going to like what's going to go down next. So I'm going to see how much uh, combat um, I can learn. Alright, King Leonidas is getting up. I think we're ready to uh, roll these people. Alright, it says L1. Um, let me see here. R1 is to attack, which is your basic attack it looks like. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing a spear, and then L1 uh, plus X is a pull rush. Now, I'm playing this on the PS4 version. Uh, key uh, commands will be different, so uh, if you uh, complain about it, just figure it out yourself. I mean, it's a tutorial. It should be on the screen right there. Still, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting smacked around some. I mean, my shitty comment is... Okay, he just did a big mistake. Yep, he just got stabbed. Let me get this guy. Yeah, I think I'm using the charge system way too much. Yeah, but it's still fun, but... Look at go. Still learning moves and such. Oh man, he's getting seriously messed up. Yeah, this is fun, alright. He's, uh, uh, nice is winning, he's kicking butt. Always trying to kick butt. Yep. <laughs> That's the best part, just stick the math range down. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to be great. Oh man, the combat's like this. It's a little change from the other Assassin's Creed game. It's going to be real nice. I can't wait to try it out. I think that was the 300 uh, shout charge. So I'm buffed up more and I'm more aggressive. Yeah, I was supposed to go eject and just kill people. At this point, I'm just having fun killing Persians. I'm doing better than uh, draw a butler at least. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm just stabbing people at this point for fun. Yeah, more people are getting stabbed. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? I should be doing the mission right now, but I'm just having too much fun with this, trying all the new moves. Yeah, that's the 300 kick right there, the 300 kick in the pit of death. Somehow I think I uh, hit the guy and blocked it. I was trying at the time to uh, kick him off the mountain, 
Let's say this is Assassin Creed. Let's see how much I do it. No, that was an epic fail. Should have got a little bit closer. Boom, he would have been off that mountain. Or cliff, whatever. Yeah, he just went down like a sack of potatoes. And let's see here. I'm going to let this uh, combat keep going for a while because I think I'm reaching a cutscene. So I'm going to let it go on. <laughs> Looks like I'm at a cutscene right now, and looks like I'm be fighting someone. Hopefully, hopefully it's done. Then get to the game where I suck my characters. Now looks like I killed some more Persians. Now this big ugly bitch. Let's uh, look like it's a mace, giant mace. In the, I don't know if it's a mace. No, it's an axe. Axe and a round shield. That weighs Persian armor. I get out. Looks like he's like an immortal. And he's starting to uh, bring his head to uh, his king Xerxes. My head to the king Xerxes. It's gonna be exact opposite. Okay, you throw the head, there's and say surrender. Yep. Uh, let's see, dodge button, you're holding the uh, dodge button, I'll say. Now, PlayStation uh, 4 version is square, and then block breakers, uh, press R2 to break that block. So, that's good to note, folks, is that there's a dodge button, get, uh, dodge button, quick, uh, short send dodge, and long send dodge, which is real nice in this game. Yeah, I should use that more often. I think I was trying to go aggressive, pursue aggressive. And looks like I'm about to finish this battle off and then uh, get to the next portion of the game. Yeah, he is dead. Yeah, it looks like another uh, you play badge assassin. That's real nice. Uh, when I did this recording, I messed up on the uh, cutscene. I missed out on it. That was my fault. Now I'm switching to uh, the new character. Now here's the thing, I uh, put the difficulty on normal because I want to experience some challenges in the game, not easily go through some parts. And second, I want to explore more, so I start exploring more areas instead of just being there for you, holding your hand. And there's uh, between a male and female uh, Greek assassin. I picked the female one, her name was uh, Cassandra with a K, not a C. So I'm going to let this uh, eagle thing go on for a little bit more and get to her. There is uh, Cassandra right now, sharpening her, uh, looks like it's a part of a spear. So she's looking at it. I guess that's uh, what Leila had, so yeah. I missed that cutscene too by accident, but I didn't feel like it's important as uh, getting to the meat and bones of this game. But still, it's pretty neat. It looks like already there's some rogues saying Cyclops got a message for you. I want to see if it's like a real Cyclops or. Um, more like uh, the uh, rock version of Hercules, where there's like uh, humans posing as uh, mythical monsters, or legends were spit out uh, of people spread out as mythical monsters, where they're really not monsters. So let's give a little more tutorial, plus my uh, Uplay rewards I uh, gained while I was um, going through the Uplay menu, which is nice. There's your party button right there, which is real nice. That one, R1, PlayStation 4, different, whatever uh, system you're playing on. Okay, looks like I'm gonna try something I uh, learned from Leonidas. <laughs> Hit that L2 button. Yeah, see? You just gotta pay attention sometimes to the tutorial. I'm gonna let this cutscene go on right now. Uh, last week? <sighs> this shit happens every week. Keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. 
Oh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Sorry I'm interrupting this part of the cutscene real quick. There's a choice uh, when you uh, make a choice in this game. It'll affect uh, later on, now or later. So keep that in mind. I'm going to let this cutscene go on. Sorry for the uh, interruptions. Just want to point that out real quick. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Yeah, this time you could also ask and answer questions to uh, certain NPCs, extra ones, or just uh, go to the gold uh, line, which continues the story or the conversation. So I just want to point that out real quick. I'm going to let uh, Sandra talk to a little Padawan. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> that little bastard wants more money. I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Here's another choice I did in the game. It explains to you about choice will impact the story. And I say, I say get out here instead of kill him. If I were to kill him, probably something bad would happen or good. I don't know. So I just I say hit the road. So I'm going to let this go on for a little bit more. As soon as I'm dressed. Well, it looks like I didn't like the badge saying initiate, so I'm officially uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey initiate, which is pretty good. It's also giving more uh, uh, details on club rewards and such, so I'm going to explore a little bit and get to the uh, tower and such, and uh, I'll go up there. It also tells me all the DLC unlocked, so I can't wait to try it when I eventually get time. So far, so far, I live pretty love it. Day one so far, I played it. It's pretty fun so far. I can't wait to get to the uh, meat and bones of it. See what's uh this uh, game world has more to offer, and I am gonna do is just launch the burn real quick. I'm probably gonna end the video here, so next time um I'll be able to do uh, more. Uh, well, that about does it for uh, part one. This is uh, Lord Fenton uh, signing off. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe to my uh, channel.